Hi, I'm Heather. Welcome to Harmony and Motion Feng Shui. Many people are familiar with command positions with regard to bed placement. However, there are many command positions around the house that can affect our energy. Today we're going to look at a few different rooms where you can make some simple changes to give yourself more support in life. The ideal power position in a room, known as the command position, is to be sitting or laying down diagonally opposite from the door with a solid wall behind you for support and a view of the whole room. If there is a window on that wall, then move on to the next solid wall opposite the door here. You still have a great solid wall behind you with a view of the whole room and the door. Now, just a quick note about where this comes from. It comes from ancient China where feng shui originated, where the masters studied the formation of the land and its effect on people, and found that when people lived in a house with a big strong mountain behind them, a small mountain on either side, big open space in front, and water down below, this is where they were the most supported from the elements, and in turn they had healthy crops and healthy families, and were overall abundant in life. So this is how we bring this inside our environments, so we can achieve that sense of support and well-being in our lives. Now, you want to try and stay away from sitting or laying with your back to the door or being directly in line with the door. But if you have to, due to space, there are some ways to help offset the energy flow if you have that kind of situation. If you have your back to the door, you can put a mirror somewhere in front of you so you can see behind you. Or if you are in direct line with the door, adding something in between you and the door as a bit of a buffer is a good idea. I encourage people to pick a room in their home and try standing with your back against each wall. Take notice of the door and window positions and how you feel energetically in the space. If there is more than one entrance into a room, use the one that a guest would enter in through. As you do this exercise, you will begin to see where you feel more supported. So let's take a look at some examples. This first example is the living room of a small one bedroom condo in Santa Monica. Real people, real houses. As you can immediately see, the energy is stopped right when you walk in the front door. Now, when it comes to living rooms, a sofa or main seating area is a place that you would want to have support and be in a good command position. If you look at the floor plan, you can see the sofa is along wall A. Yet across the room is a nice solid wall of support and a view of the entire room and the door. So as I say in many of my feng shui consultations, just flip it! Now we have a nice solid wall of support behind the sofa, and it feels so much more secure lounging around and watching TV. Not to mention, in this floor plan, it feels a little cozier than being a pass-through space when someone comes in the front door. And on the other wall, the TV fit perfectly by the door. And the best part is that we now have opened up the flow of energy into the home from blocked to welcome, come right in. In feng shui, we refer to the home as a body, and the front door of the mouth to that body where all the energy comes in for nourishment. So having energy to be able to flow freely into your home helps to bring good opportunities to you in all areas. This next example is a home office in Los Angeles. Real rooms, real life parameters. Here we have a nice home office space that happens to be split with a TV area living space. Many rooms within our home serve a dual purpose, so sometimes that means you have to go halfway with the command position, but even that can make a tremendous difference. In this floor plan, the desk sits along wall A. Recall that to be in a command position, you always want to be sitting facing out with the view of the door, and not with your back to the door. When we have this kind of situation, our bodies go into fight or flight mode, tensing up, not knowing what is coming up behind us. Also, it's not a good thing to put a desk directly in front of a window. Although many people tend to think it's nice to look out at the trees, our thoughts and ideas go right out the window with it. So try to stay away from that, especially for kids. And just walking into this space gives off a vibe of, stay back, don't come in, go away. But then, we just flip it as much as you can. Now we have a much more open and functional space. We put the desk on the other wall and now have a space where even though it's not the number one command position, the person can now see the door and their body comes out of fight or flight mode, relaxing their energy. We now have a beautiful space that flows well that says welcome, come in and be inspired, sit down and write a few pages. Of course, being in line with the door now, in this case, since there is a bathroom door just to the right of the desk, so we can't put anything there, we have to get creative to come up with a little buffer in between the person at the desk and the door. A feng shui crystal sitting on the edge of the desktop, or an area rug on the floor, or hanging a crystal or wind chime from the ceiling in between are all ways that will work to protect your energy. 
This next example is a little kitchen inside a studio apartment in Chicago. Feng Shui works with all sizes of spaces and decor, from one-room studios to massive mansions and everything in between. Here we have an open studio with the kitchen tucked in the corner. While it's especially auspicious and a key point to have your stove be in a command position, anywhere that you spend a lot of time with your back to the door is something to be energetically mindful of. It's just your average little corner kitchen space, stove off to the left, dishwasher to the right, but all the prep space is spent mostly with the person's back to the door. So when your back is to the door, placing a mirror so you can see behind you will automatically relax that fight or flight response. Plus, you can also see how much this opened up the whole space and how much brighter it is. These photos were taken moments apart, so there were no other changes. That brightness is all from the mirror. And it's just a simple 24-inch round mirror from Michael's Craft Store. These are easy, quick solutions to get your feng shui energy more balanced and supported. So now that you have some ideas about command positions around the house, it's time to look and see what's around your house that you can flip and give yourself some extra feng shui support. If you have any questions or would like additional information, please visit my website at harmonyinmotion.com. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.